So we all know the powers of steel wool. How steel wool can be heated to start a fire. Now one day I was actually on the trail, I'm not even joking about this one. And it wouldn't even matter. I was actually walking on the trail and I ended up running up against this uh, copper steel wool. I figured I'll break out some of it. There we go. Let's see if copper steel wool well, copper wool has the same power as steel wool. So I went out and I got myself a 9 volt battery. I forgot to test this out. Will copper wool act like steel wool? This is a full standing no. But copper is still a conductor. Which means I may be able to still use it. So what we're gonna do We're going to use it to make something to short, something to heat up. So in theory, All I really need to do is wrap it around this. Oops. Take this piece. If it heats up at all. Actually, the battery's heating up more, so I know it's so let's. This didn't even heat up at all. Now kids, don't do this at home. If you do, do have a trained adult around. This battery's heating up. I don't want to be responsible for other people's. The battery is heating up more than the copper. Let's see if that. I'm gonna pull this before it even goes any further. The battery is heated up more than the car. Like, this is not even hot. This, I don't even wanna to touch it. It's already kinda of heated up. I'm actually gonna have to let that cool down. <laughs> Though, in a. Actually, in a, in a situation, if it was a survival situation, you know what? 
I literally could just probably end up tying this around it and letting it heat up and just use that to start the fire. But you know what? I really don't want this battery to explode. For the sheer reason of safety. <laughs> I don't want my house burning down. Um, so, I'm going to call it here. Copper wool actually looks like it would have other uses to it. Like, I mean, it's not strong, but you could find other uses for it. Anyways, my name's Nate, I'm the Honor Outdoorsman. It's been a little experiment. You have a good day. So, that wall is letting a fire burn out because I just decided to get a little bit of practice in afterwards. And of course, you know, my ferroid fires always light faster when I'm not using the camera. But, anyways, so. One thing I noticed about this stuff is it's very weak, um, but it's thin copper, so of course it's going to end up being weak. But I got bored while I was waiting for it to, and I started just twisting these together, and I was finding you can actually make out of copper. out of like the copper uh, scoring pad I actually make a strong piece of copper cordage um, and just and it was just me just quickly just spinning it the tendency of doing this with a lot of things is just sitting and spinning I mean it's not the strongest thing in the world it has a decent amount of tensile strength. I can easily just, you know, make a quick knot. With that, I mean, it's. I could use. I mean, that's just because of where I twisted it earlier, but I mean, I could easily just. Free these ends up a bit. Get these intertwined. I mean, if you basically spin out the, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, those were just two parts I spun together. It's not perfect cordage, but in a pinch, you could probably tie something together with it. Probably I wouldn't trust my shelter to it, but you know, Say la vie. Anyways, thought I'd throw this on the end of my copper video. I mean, so then just spin these together, make thicker cordage. Need quite a lot of it, but. But that's pretty strong. And a lot of it, you could probably just make some copper cordage out of it. But, just a thought. Thought I'd share. Anyways, you have a good day.